All right, folks, this is Acid Roots. So I'm back with an Ice Cube review. But I'm going to do kind of like an, an extra bit here just by kind of saying the reason why there hasn't been as much. And that's just kind of because unless you're like a big fan of mainstream rap and stuff like that, it's been kind of trimmed just in the department of like, like, I mean, normally but right now I'd be reviewing like MGK or something like that. But there just has not really been any sort of like rock music or underground music that's really been prevalent. I mean, I don't know where Hobson is. Ice Cube, I probably need to review more of that besides this project I'm reviewing. But there just hasn't been an overabundance of stuff that's been going on. I, I know Migos is out right now. DJ Khaled dropped the project. Doja Cat dropped the project like a couple days ago. But, uh, you know, there's no, like, Hopson. There's no Bizarre. There's no King Gordy, stuff like that. So it's just been kind of... I'm just having to dig a little bit deeper into some of the vault of things that I still feel like reviewing. So it's just been real, you know, I'm about to belch. It's been real kind of bland as far as like that department. But to get to this Ice Cube review, so basically I felt like, I mean, I think a lot of times when people think of Ice Cube that are like underneath like the age of like 35 or something, we typically think of him like post- West Side Connection, you know, like his 2003 album, not the 96 one. You think of like Laugh Now, Cry Later, Raw Footage, the album he dropped in 2010, like I Am the West or something. But Ice Cube has been around, you know, obviously since NWA in 1988, 87 and such. But then he also had a series of pretty stellar albums for the time in the early 90s. He had Death Certificate, he had The Predator. He had the one I liked, which I forget what it was called, but it had the song You Know How We Do It on there. I think it was Lethal Injection. That was a good one just because it had more G-Funk. But The Predator was kind of in between just because it had like touches of G-Funk and sampling on there. But for the most part, most of the production was still pretty bunky and just not that terrific. And that's kind of the thing. That's the reason why I've avoided reviewing projects like these for as long, because I feel like albums like The Chronic and Doggy Style definitely helped, um, definitely kind of helped usher in a new age of production. I felt like G-Funk contributed a lot to like production, not just being so boom bap, boom bap and stark and kind of more like public enemy and you know, KRS-One and that sort of stuff. So, obviously, this is kind of the interim phase, right? Interim phase where I think Ice Cube was at least paying attention to what people like Dr. Dre and Cypress Hill were doing, but it was still kind of in some of that old key style, which is why it just didn't... It was a transitional, because I definitely, despite people saying that they didn't really like Lethal Injection, I felt like that one was probably better than The Predator, just because the singles were better. You had Bop Gun... And you had, like, You Know How We Do It, which is one of Ice Cube's best songs. But this project has one of Ice Cube's best songs, period, out of everything he's done with It Was A Good Day. I mean, that beat is just so fantastic. DJ Pooh definitely knocked that one out of the park. But this album really doesn't have much to speak of besides the singles. But luckily, there's three of them, which usually Ice Cube does not make it to the third single or past it. But this is definitely... That's one thing. If you are just here for the songs you heard on the radio, you're not going to be disappointed. So we'll get into talking about the singles now. And uh, so the first single was Wicked, which has been covered by a number of rock artists. It seems like rock musicians kind of like this song. Korn sampled it or covered it once. And it's just an overall good Ice Cube song. I mean, it's just so creepy and so... I mean, you wouldn't expect Ice Cube to do that with his gangster rap image, but he really pulled off like a kind of almost horrorcore, just kind of real gothic song. This feels like something you'd hear in September or October. It's just overall creepy, and I really like it. It's one of Ice Cube's best. It's not a song by him that's talked about that commonly. I and mean, when you think about it, you'd think of It Was a Good Day or Straight Out of Compton or like... Um, you know, Bow Down or some record like that, but, I mean, this one was actually, I think this should be at least on a greatest hits of Ice Cube if you think about them, even if it has to be like 25 songs, but it's definitely one of his better songs. It Was a Good Day was the second single, and chances are, I mean, this is a song that reaches more volume just because this charted real high. 
I, I would have to say I think that this is basically Ice Cube's highest charting song. And compared to like the stuff that he typically does, which is saying like fuck the police and you know, straight out of Compton and niggas with attitude and that sort of stuff, this was actually an approachable charting song. It just kinda of, I mean, the fact that it was in Grand Theft Auto really helped, I think. And it just kind of it, it's a gangster rap song, but it has enough charting appeal to where he doesn't sell out, but it's still a good radio single. Because I've heard it on the radio in amongst places, and that's good. I like the fact that you can hear this song, but Ice Cube didn't lose his flair. You know, him talking about just getting laid throughout the song, getting ready to mess with some chicks that he's been trying to get down with for a while, you know, drinking and driving, all that stuff that he was talking about, just getting fucked up, smoking a little bit, having some good breakfast and that sort of stuff so it was just overall good it's good feelings i can listen to that song without much complaints most of the time probably almost all of the time so but then the third single was check yourself and um uh, i just would kind of have to say uh, the cer the third single was check yourself which this had the worst production out of the three songs that were released to radio but they did do a they did do a pretty good remix of it, which was just infinitely better. I still like the original, but I think the remix is better. And it's too bad that the remix didn't make it on this track listing. It's on the reissue that came out years later, but you just get the original version. It has the same lyrics, but I don't know. I mean, that sort of production on the original just feels kind of less like emphatic and less kind of club appeal and less social for some reason it though these type of songs because they're so old just don't really seem like to be in a club type setting it just kind of feels more like in a kind of cruising and maybe a barbecue kind of setting something like that it was more outdoor kind of appeals more so than indoor glossy kind of stuff so that's just kind of the situation there but i still like the song but not as much as the remix and then honestly you know i would talk about this album more but they're just to, it, I think it would be suffice to say that most of the production on this project is just not top notch. That's the thing. There's really not any interesting songs, even an eighth as good as it was a good day. And for the rest of the project, I mean, I just listened to it. I don't want to listen to it for very much longer just because there's just no interesting melodies that are as good as that. I mean, I feel like Wicked is good. I can listen to that. But there's not even anything that's on par with Wicked for a second time. I feel like, you know, this kind of has like a miniature Cypress Hill feel just because DJ Muggs, their producer, is on here a couple of times, which I do at least like one more song, and that's We Had to Tear This Motherfucker Up, which feels like a Cypress Hill song. But the other songs he did, wasn't too big a fan of Now I Gotta Wet Ya, and uh like i said i wasn't too big a fan of the check yourself song at least the production i mean it's decent like i said but so dj Pooh didn't really do a good job besides that and the rest of the produ producers just kind of felt like uh, it basically just kind of feels like a sir mix a lot album where you know most 99 percent of people are not listening to anything other than baby got back that's kind of what you get when you listen to the, the Sir Mix-A-Lot album with that song on it. You're just going straight for Baby Got Back, and then everything else is just kind of forgettable. You just never, you, and when I mean forgettable, I mean just for good. You're not going to look this up 20 years from now or however long. And that's no offense to Ice Cube. I mean, he is basically triple OG, and he has numerous good songs to his name, but I you know, I think people just labeled this a classic just because it had three singles on there, which was not too common back in the day. But that's just kind of the thing. I mean, really, it had some decent so decent singles, but then it just was not a classic album, especially compared to, like, 20 years later. You know, if you think circa 2003, circa 2008, circa 2017, it's just like, no. But... It, it, it was good for 1992, I would definitely say. I, I would have to say there's at least, you know, if you look hard enough, I'm sure you could find some serviceable music, but it's probably nothing that's like as this uh, memorize, mesmerizing as it was a good day. So I'm going to give this album me liking basically four out of six, or four out of 12 songs. There's 16 songs, but there's an intro and three skits which I, I may review one day, but so 
I'm just going to give this album a 4 out of 10. I mean, I like this. Uh, the singles are good enough to the point where I feel like it deserves recognition, but it's just not a classic album. And that's kind of the thing. I mean, Ice Cube was very heralded back then, but I think it was just more for his lyrical content. <coughs> so, that's more of the situation is just trying to talk about how... Um, is more for what the, I mean, because Ice Cube is an interesting rapper. If you do listen to some of the stuff and you don't care about this production and good song skills and that sort of stuff, you will find that there's some good lyrics on here. Ice Cube is an interesting character that can actually fill out an album, doesn't run out of topics, and is not boring. It's just the music itself is boring. So Ice Cube at least has an interesting songwriter to his name, but unfortunately. That doesn't matter when you don't have the rest of the flair to be able to back that up. So that is disappointing, but definitely when you look at a song like it's, It Was a Good Day, that's so compelling just because of the lyrics. I mean, I listen to the lyrics, it's fine. It's the same thing with Wicked, but this is kind of the thing there. So the social score I'll give like an 8. Just because I would give it almost a 9. I mean, if it would have had a fourth single, it would have gotten a 10. But just giving it like an 8, because Check Yourself is decent. But I felt, like I said, the remix was better. But still, the fact that Ice Cube got three singles just out of nowhere. I mean, I'm sure back in 93 when that album was getting spins, it, people were just like, yeah, anything Ice Cube, I'm down with right now. And it just was a good overall moment, just because that was good stuff. I mean, I think... This had better commercial songs on it than Death Certificate, but not quite as good as Lethal Injection. So this is kind of the thing there, but um, I'm sure that there are probably hardcore West Coast fans that actually lived in California and such that would have, you know, detailed reasons as to why that might, may not be the case. But, uh, I mean, I, I do feel like the, you know, better production choices have their benefits so that's kind of the thing so i give this album a four out of ten eight social and there you have it